What if I told you your modem is the key that unlocks the door that gives you access to the internet? Honestly, that's not much of an exaggeration. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be explaining to you what your modem is, how it works, and why you need one in your home network. Let's start off with the basics. What is a modem? To be quite honest with you, modems don't look all that spectacular. And in reality, they aren't. Their job in your home network is actually quite simple. A modem's job is to connect your home with the internet. That's it. You can't connect to the internet if you don't have a modem in your home network. Looking at the back of your modem, this supports the claim that it's a very simple device. Most people have a cable internet plan, meaning that internet is provided to their home through a coaxial cable, this is the same type of cable that provides your home with cable television as well. So here you have a coaxial cable connection. Up here you'll also have one ethernet port and that ethernet port is to allow your modem and your router to connect with an ethernet cable. I'll be doing a follow on video explaining what routers are and how they work, but that's a video for another time. Lastly, down here we have a port for the power connection. Your modem needs to be connected to the wall and provided with power at all times. All right, that's the basics in terms of what your modem looks like and what it's used for. But now we need to get into how does it work. Okay, so your modem's job is to connect your home with the internet. To break down the basics here at a high level, your internet service provider, whether it's Xfinity, Comcast, Spectrum, they're called your internet service provider, they provide internet to your home, but you need your modem in order to receive that internet signal. The reason for this is because the internet signal coming from your internet service provider or ISP, that's coming with an analog signal. I'm sure you've all seen an analog signal before. It's essentially an up and down sine wave. The problem here is that your devices don't understand analog signal. As you may be aware, your devices talk in ones and zeros. This is also called binary or digital data. So how do we get this analog signal into digital data that your systems can understand? As you might have guessed, that's what your modem's for. Your modem takes the analog signal, that sine wave, turns it into ones and zeros. Your devices then understand the information that are being sent to it. And then in response, your devices package up ones and zeros to return a response. Your modem takes that digital data, translates it back into an analog signal, which is then sent to your internet service provider as a response. So for a quick example, when your computer sends a request for a web page, that web page request is in ones and zeros when it leaves your system. It then gets translated into an analog signal and then it gets sent to your internet service provider who then routes the signal, routes the data to that end destination, that web server that you're looking for. The data then follows the reverse order to get back to your computer and deliver that web page that you're looking for. You with me so far? The reason why you need a modem in your home network is because your modem serves as a translator for your devices. If you didn't have a modem, it would be like traveling to a foreign country and trying to speak the local language. I don't know about you, but that wouldn't go so well for me. Having a modem ensures that your devices can receive and communicate with that internet signal that's being sent to them. If this video helped you understand how your modem works, please give it a like so it gets shared with other people who are looking for this information as well. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And lastly, if you like the way that I describe this technical information, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out more content moving forward here on similar topics, and I'd love to have you join me for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.